Meghan Markle has a jam-packed schedule ahead of her despite a busy start to 2019 for the mum-to-be, who is expecting a baby in spring, sparking speculation the hard-working Duchess may have little or no maternity leave. The Duchess of Sussex has already had a busy start to the year after she announced her royal patronages, hired a new deputy communications secretary and made various official appearances both on her own and with Prince Harry. The Duchess recently announced she will become a patron to four charities, the National Theatre, the Association of Commonwealth Universities, Mayhew, and Smart Works. The Royal has already visited animal charity Mayhew and Smart Works, a charity that helps vulnerable and long-term unemployed women regain the skills and confidence to get into work and animal charity Mayhew as part of her working portfolio. And despite being due to give birth in spring, Meghan has yet another hectic week ahead. One Twitter user wrote, I bet as soon as she delivers the bump, she will be back to work. The Duchess of Sussex will make her first visit as patron to the National Theatre on Wednesday, January 30. This is one of two roles handed to the Duchess by Queen Elizabeth. The other is the Association of Commonwealth Universities. Meghan has big shoes to fill as Her Majesty has held the roles for 45 and 33 years. But the Duchess should feel at home at the National Theatre given her acting background. The former Suits star will join a workshop with members of the Pericles Company, a pioneering and original training and work project for young people and adults with special learning needs and or mental health problems. She will then explore the organization's work and meet some of the talented teams and apprentices working behind the scenes. Meghan will also watch a presentation inspired by War Horse performed by children working with the National Theatre's primary school program. The mum-to-be will then visit her final patronage final patronage on Thursday 31. She will attend an engagement with the Association of Commonwealth Universities at City, University of London, one of the ACU's 500 university members where she will meet students from the Commonwealth studying in the UK. Meghan will then end the week with Prince Harry, as the pair visit Bristol on February 1. They will meet members of the public before visiting the Bristol Old Vic, which was built in 1766 as a place where the people of Bristol could come together. Meghan and Harry will have a tour of the renovated facility and learn about the theatre's history and links to the community. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex will also partake in a workshop attended by local school children which is part of Bristol Old Vic's outreach program.